What's up everyone? My name is Em. I am a digital animal educator over on the YouTube channel Em Zotic and I'm also the director of partnerships for Zen Habitats. Clint from Clint's Reptiles tagged me to create a video for US Arc. So thank you very much Clint for nominating me to create a video this week here on the US Arc YouTube channel. If you haven't yet be sure to subscribe down below so you can stay up to date with all of the latest videos from US Arc. Growing up all over the world and having the opportunity to travel to so many amazing places has given me the opportunity to observe reptiles not only in the wild, but also in some incredible captive settings as well. And one of my favorite things about reptiles is the community, the amazing people who dedicate themselves to being educators, to scientific research, to breeding rare and endangered species, and those just in the hobby helping to support one another with the latest up-to-date care. And really that's what inspires today's video. Community, our global herpetological community, as well as that right here in North America. And whilst I was thinking about the reptile community, it reminded me of so many incredible legends all across the world inspired by reptiles. So really quickly today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my favorite legends, which I hope will inspire you to go and learn more about these amazing animal and reptile legends from around the world. Now I'm sure we have all heard of that legend by now, that snakes measure you to eat you. And that's just not true at all. Snakes do not measure people to eat them, no matter what your best friend's cousin's uncle said. Now with that legend out of the way, let's jump into some more positive reptile legends from around the world. The lizard Taro Taro is an Aboriginal Dreamtime legend. This Aboriginal story teaches that Taro Taro was the original creator of the sexes. It was also taught that he was the one who taught man how to tattoo their skin. A basking lizard was representative of the seeking of spiritual enlightenment and the shedding of a lizard's skin symbolized rebirth. Our next story focuses on a very famous tale of Buddha and a snake. But maybe a snake a little bit bigger than this one over here. When traveling throughout Southeast Asia, one of the most popular depictions of Buddha that you will find is a depiction of Buddha, but with a large, sometimes many-headed snake behind him. Legend says that six weeks after Buddha began meditating for enlightenment, the heavens opened Opened and it began to pour with rain. This rain was said to be torrential and lasted for days, so Buddha, who was meditating, got completely soaked. It's said that Makulinda, the king of all serpents, emerged from under the ground and opened up his hood to shelter Buddha from the rain. There are a few variations to the ending of this story, but by far my favorite is that Buddha was so incredibly grateful to Makulinda for sheltering him from the storm that he took his two fingers and blessed the snake as he was bending down to show gratitude before Buddha. And this blessed the snake and left him with marks on the back of his head. And that's why when you're looking at the monocle cobra or even the spectacle cobra, why they have beautiful markings on the back of their hood. Next up, we'll be traveling to Hong Kong to talk about dragon gates. In the Chinese culture, dragons are thought to be one of the most auspicious of creatures. So they are very highly revered. As Hong Kong experienced rapid development, architects were very conscientious to put dragon gates in their projects. Simply put, this means that they put squares in their buildings. You can see an example of a square in the building right here. This is the Repulse Bay Hotel in Repulse Bay. A little bit of trivia. That's my house. I grew up right there. So I got to see this beautiful dragon gate every single day. Now you might wonder why are they called dragon gates and why do they put them in these buildings? The reason why is because it was thought that if one blocked a dragon's path getting home back into the mountains where they were thought to reside, it could bring really bad luck. These dragon gates are there to allow a dragon to pass through and bring prosperity to the land. 
And very interestingly, the Bank of China's poor feng shui and lack of a dragon gate was blamed for a long time for the misfortune of a lot of the businesses which surrounded it. And even to this day, a lot of companies will pay for a full feng shui evaluation of their properties as well as the installation of dragon gates. So if you're ever traveling through Hong Kong, look up at the architecture and see how many dragon gates you can spot. Next up, we have the crocodile, and in particular, the Nile crocodile. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a crocodile-like figure called Sobek. Sobek had the body of a warrior and the head of a Nile crocodile. Certain sects in ancient Egypt believed that Sobek arose from the dark water and brought order to an otherwise chaotic universe. It was also thought that he was the creator of the Nile. Although Sobek looks like a very fearsome creature, he was actually associated with benevolence, fertility, and military strategy. And finally, we come to another wonderful legend about the turtle. This turtle legend actually has its origins in Cree Native American culture. Cree teachings taught that the world was actually created and held up on the back of a turtle, right on its carapace. Even though this is a Native American legend, it can also be found repeated throughout history in other cultures as well, such as in the Hindu culture. This story was often shared to teach people about patience, a connection to the earth, and resilience. And that's it for today. Let me know down in the comment section below which of these stories was your favorite, or if you have any other animal legends or myths that you would love to share. Most importantly, please do subscribe down below to the US Art YouTube channel. US Ark continues every day to fight for your rights to keep reptiles. If you can become a member, that would be fantastic. You can find the details down in the description box of this video of how to do that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's US Ark special video. And now I tag Tyler Ruggie to carry on the chain. Bye!